Hey friends, welcome to my channel. Uh, I am just uh, discussing this problem because I was practicing and I thought that I should discuss it with you also and uh, so you can also practice this uh, because this problem involves uh, more than one concept so you uh, just before the exam uh, you can revise that uh, things. Okay, so uh, in this case this aromatic compound is given where you have a imine and uh, now uh, it is reacted in presence of triethylamine with this alkyne in presence of heat and heating uh, heating is done so what will be the product now i if i uh, tell what is the reaction you will think that this is very simple but uh, what you are thinking uh, by looking at the reagents given so this is very important whenever you are uh, looking at the reagents you should immediately uh, recognize that what can be the reaction because this type of reaction you should uh, do within two minutes now the first thing uh, when i see this uh, triple bond and heating and another uh, double bond so one thing uh, should come in my mind is that there may be some pericyclic reaction because heating is given and a uh, triple bond is also there so pericyclic reaction may be there now but it seems that uh, there is no such diene or dienophile, so uh, then you can think how pericyclic reaction can happen. But you can see this triethylamine is given and this hydrogen should be acidic because it is conjugated with this aromatic ring where you have an electron withdrawing nitro group. At the same time there is a imine group also attached to it. So that means this hydrogen will be acidic. So your triethylamine will take this hydrogen to form anion. So you will get this NO2 and here you will have this minus and here you will have this N and here you will have this sorry you will have this imine linkage okay now you can see this is a 1 2 3 so this is a 1 3 dipolar species okay this is a 1 3 dipolar species and it can react with this compound okay so now you have to write uh, this compound here so so now there comes the proper question of regioselectivity that is whether uh, you should place this hydrogen this side and this co2 et group this side or the vice versa now uh, this will be decided by the coefficient of homo and lumo but i told you previously that there is a shortcut trick that you can think this reaction as a um, uh, you can think this reaction as ionic reaction and just by pushing the arrow you can see where the negative charge is stabilized so you can see this negative charge if i push here and now this uh, bond will go here so you can see in this case uh, this negative charge can be stabilized into this carbonyl group okay but if you uh, write this in reverse way this stabilization is not possible now uh, the question is why this negative charge we will localize here and why not here uh, of course both of these resonance uh, chemical forms will be there but this will be the more predominating structure because in this case you can see if the negative charge grow here it will be conjugated with the aromatic ring which is only a phenyl ring but in this case the uh, negative charge is where it is con it is adjacent to, to this particular aromatic ring and this aromatic ring the speciality of this aromatic ring is that it has electron withdrawing nitro group so this aromatic ring can stabilize the adjacent negative charge more than just a phenyl group so that means this negative charge will be placed here now you can draw the pericyclic reaction so this will occur so this is how your 1 3 dipolar addition will occur and you will have this nitro group here now here you will have this in so obviously there a negative charge will come and now you can see uh, this will be your product so here you will have a double bond here the co 2 et group and here the cl and ph you don't have to worry about the stereochemistry now you can see this negative charge can push and the cl can go so i just writing this ar so this is your n this is your uh, double bond and here you have another double bond here you have co 2 et group and here you have hydrogen but you can see uh, this compound can easily aromatize like this way so here you have one hydrogen so if this hydrogen go like this this compound can be aromatized okay so this is how it will form a aromatic product 
So this will be your product here in the penile ring. So this is the product which you will get. So uh, the uh, first thing is you have to recognize that what type of reaction is this uh, by looking at the base and this particular acidic hydrogen atom. Then you have to decide that that it is a one three dipolar addition. And after that you have to uh, remove this CL and then uh, you have to think that it can aromatize. So whenever there is a chance for aromatization, the molecule will always go for aromatization because aromatic compounds are very much stable. So if you uh, leave this product in this state because uh, in the reaction, in the question, they can give you this option also, they can give you this option also. So you have to uh, choose carefully that which will be your product. So uh, I think this problem will help you just before the exam. I'm just doing it uh, for a, re a revision. Uh, I know you are reading. So if I find some more problems, I will uh, discuss, but only one day is left. So best of luck for exam. And if you are new in this channel, so don't forget to subscribe my channel. And thank you for watching.